Well, howdy there, Internet students. This is Mr. Hermanson again. Hey, today we're going to uh, learn how to balance equations to help us solve. Um, remember that when we have equations like this, where we have a variable on both sides, um, it makes it hard to solve by backtracking. And so we were guessing and guess checking and revising to solve those. Um, well, this strategy will allow us to um, get rid of the x's from one side, and then we'll be able to solve the rest of the equation by backtracking. Okay? Or you can use this balance method to solve the whole equation. So the idea is that um, as long as you, the equal sign is really a balance, as long as you have the same on both sides, it will remain balanced. So, like if I say I remove four blocks for this, from this side, um, that would be fine as long as I remove four blocks from this side also. Then it'll stay in balance. So, I could take away one bag from this side, one bag from this side, another bag from this side, another bag from this side. I could get rid of two of these here, two of these here, and we should still be in balance. And we now have figured out that one bag is the same as... Uh, the two blocks that I have left over here. All right, pretty slick, huh? Um, so, um, the, what's on this balance beam is actually an equation, and since we don't know what's in the, each bag, what we'll do is we'll um, we'll just let a variable represent how many blocks are in each bag. So I'll just put an X there. So we're just adding up everything on each side, and remember that. You have one x and one x, and together that makes two x. And then we have four extra blocks on that side. And then on the other side, we have three bags and then two extra blocks. Okay. Now to figure out how many are in each bag, and and I'll show you how you can do this with the equation too. Um, so. So as I go, I'm going to kind of be demonstrating what I'm doing. So remember what I did there. I took away two bags here and two bags here. So what I'm really doing is taking away these two x's here, which is subtracting two x from both sides. And then now I can see what I have left. On this side, I have four blocks, just four blocks left. On this side, I have one bag and two blocks. So 1x plus 2. So I just kind of changed the equation. Now I'm going to do my next step. I'll do that with a blue. Um, I'm going to take away two, those two blocks from there and these two blocks from here. The reason I did that is I wanted to be left with just one bag over here. So what I did there is I got rid of these two and took away two from this side to keep it balanced. And then I ended up with x equals 2, which means this one bag weighs the same as these two blocks that are left over. Okay, so there are two blocks in each bag. And just to check that, I can just do 2 times 2 plus 4 on the one side, and then 3 times 2 plus 2 on the other, and just make sure they're both the same. This is 4 plus 4 is 8. This is 6 plus 2 is 8. So yeah. All right. So uh, why don't you try that? Write the equation and then keep eliminating till you get down to just what's in that one bag. All right, so I got uh, 5 times 3 
So there's three blocks in each bag equals one bag plus 12. Both equal 15. And I did that by canceling one bag, and then I was left with four bags over here. So 4x equals 12 blocks, and then you just had to do 12 divided by 4, which gives you 3. Okay, so my whole, my math that I did to get this, and I'll just show you that quick, is I took away this one bag from both sides. That left me with four bags and 12 blocks. And then the second step I'm going to do is just backtrack and do 12 divided by 4 to get my answer. All right. So the equation for this one will be 3x plus 1 on the left side equals 2x plus 7 on the right side. See if you can figure out how many blocks are in each bag there. So I got six blocks in a bag there. And uh, what I did is I got rid of two bags from each side of the scale and one block from each side of the scale. And I ended up with one bag left, which is x equals the six blocks here. All right. So this equation would be 4x plus 1 on the left side equals 2x plus 8 on the right side. Let's see if you can figure out how many blocks in a the bag there. You probably notice that these bags have to have half blocks because you end up with two bags right here left after you cross out two and seven blocks over here. So that means you have seven divided by two or three and a half blocks per bag. Hope that checks out. All right, try one more. Now, if you would like to just do the work with the equation, I'll show you that here one more time so you could start thinking about that. That's like going to be our goal in the next lesson, but if you want to start doing it. So we took away two bags from both sides. And so we had one bag on the left side left plus the two blocks. And then we took away the two blocks. Now, you wouldn't necessarily have to do it in this order, but... And we ended up with one bag equals five blocks. All right, um, be careful when you do this, you might end up with a fraction of blocks here. Okay, you guys, on this one, you end up with a part of the block again. Um, I like to leave my answers as what I call a common fraction. So right here, when I figured out that I would have four blocks left on the right side and I need three bags on the left side, I did four divided by three, and just wrote that as a fraction, four-thirds. Okay. Then when I checked my answer, it was easier to put in four-thirds. Um, if you use a decimal, you probably they, your answers won't check out perfectly because you're going to have to round it when it's a repeating decimal like this. All right, um, so on this one, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to draw... Um, we're going to draw this, and what I'm going to do is, since I have 3n plus 20 on the left side, I'm going to stack up 3n, and to, to make 20, too bad we had to have such a big number, but um, to do that fast, I'm just going to go like this, four rows of five. Okay, so that's five times four, that's 20. And then 5n on this side. Like that. And then we need two more little ones here. All right. Now we're going to solve that. Um, so you can use the diagram to solve it, or you can start trying to solve it like I've been doing with the equation. But the diagram can help tell you, like the first thing you might want to do is uh, take a week, you can take away three of those bags from each side. So I'm going to take away this three and three bags from each side, and that leaves me with just the 20 single blocks and then two bags plus the two extra 
I'll let you finish it up. All right, here's what I got. Uh, go ahead and draw your diagram for the next two, see if you can find the answer. Or just write the equation if you want. You can check back and see if you got the answers right. All right, here's what I got for number eight. I got seven, and number nine, I got five. And they checked out. All right, let's uh, see if we can represent a problem with the balance scale. It says Jenny was filling bottles from a tank of water. When she had filled two bottles, seven liters of water remained in the tank. When she had filled four bottles, two liters of water remained in the tank. So, um, so let's make a tank, and this one will have seven liters left in it, and then it, it will have two bottles next to that. I guess you don't have to draw bottles if you don't want. You can just draw boxes. And on the other side, we have two, we two liters remaining in the tank. So two liters there. Um, and then there's four bottles. So X can stand for how much is in each bottle. So these are all X's. And then we can write our equation. We get 2X plus 7 equals 4X plus 2. And I'm going to let you solve it. I got 2.5 for an answer there. And it checked out. All right, so summarize what you learned. Go ahead and try some of those homework problems. Message me if you have concerns. Other than that, we'll talk to you soon.